Good afternoon. It's my privilege today to stand in for Premier Dunkley and our entire team to offer our congratulations on this auspicious occasion for Friends of Hospice and for their lead sponsor, Belco. It is the launch of the 20th anniversary event, the Rubber Duck Derby. The Derby is the largest fundraiser for Friends of Hospice, who are the charity supporting Agape House. As you will know, Agape House provides hospice and palliative care services to those with serious illnesses and to the terminally ill. Agape House recently celebrated their 25th anniversary in February, and this year's Rubber Duck Derby will honor that milestone along with its own 20th anniversary of Friends of Hospice with a special race entitled the Milestone Race. I am told that this year's event will be the biggest and best ever with a county fair atmosphere. Lots of fun for families and the community to participate in the World Heritage Site, the town of St. George's, on the 5th of June. The fun begins at 12 noon and will end at 5 p.m. We would like to encourage Friends of Hospice and Agape House and to thank them for the services and specialist care that they provide to our community. We also thank Belco for their continued support of this awesome event and encourage as many of you as possible to head down to St. George's on June the 5th to come and celebrate this milestone and to participate in the fun. Congratulations and best wishes to continued success for Friends of Hospice and to their Rubber Duck Derby. Thank you. Uh, this is awesome to have such a, a magnificent launching for our 20th Rubber Duck Derby. Normally we're in a little back room in Belco somewhere doing this, so to be on the steps of City Hall is pretty impressive for us. And thank you all for coming out and thanks to those who arranged this. Um, the, the Derby is going to, or the Derby is going to be Sunday, the fifth of June, down in St. George's. So get that date in your diaries now, please, because that's when the big event is. Um, as as has been mentioned several times, it's a 20th anniversary for us, and um, a lot of you know that Friends of Hospice uh, is a charity supporting Agape House and Hospice Care in Bermuda, and we provide funds to support programs which help patients and families at end of life. Uh, Bermuda has one hospice, Agape House, and we need a new hospice. Um, the present one is, is some uh, disrepair, so uh, later on this year we're hoping to organize a capital campaign to raise funds to build a new hospice. Uh, a lot of the funds we raise from this year's Rubber Duck Derby will go towards uh, supporting this project. So we really need your support really badly, so please come out. We appreciate very much the tremendous support we get from the community, um, especially from our corporate sponsors. They're the ones who buy these uh, big Rolls Royce ducks, and and uh, it's a, uh, the bulk of our funds come from our corporate sponsors. So thanks very much to them. Also to uh, business owners who uh, support us by providing prizes for the four different races we have, and we have a lot of prizes for each race. So th that's a lot of generosity on behalf of our business owners. So thank you very much to them. Uh, Belco has been our main sponsor for t the 20 years that the Rubber Duck Derby has taken place. Um, we appreciate tremendously their support and I think it's been a great partnership over the years. So Belco, thank you very much. I haven't finished yet. I haven't finished. Um, we, we just want to ask all of Bermuda to come out uh, on the 5th of June and support our event. Uh, during the next few weeks, there are going to be sales of tickets going on to buy your, your little ducks. 
So uh, by buying as many ducks as you possibly can between now and then, that would be very much appreciated. And please come down to St. George's, which is God's country, even though the West End may not feel that way. That is the place to be. So please come down Sunday, 5th of June, and have a great family occasion. Thank you. First of all, it's a pleasure to be here with our esteemed dignitaries, and good to be here in front of everyone, and instead of a, in a back room like uh, Ian mentioned just now. Um, it it's really is a pleasure and an honor for Belco to be involved and to support this effort. Uh, today, Belco is pleased to celebrate with Friends of Hospice the launch of the 20th annual Rubber Duck Derby. Belco has been a strong corporate supporter of the Rubber Duck Derby since its inception. Friends of Hospice, the charity that supports Agape House, Bermuda's only hospice, continues to firmly commit to hospice care and palliative care within our community. Belco, as the title sponsor of the Rubber Duck Derby for the past 20 years, is pleased Friends of Hospice has turned this major fundraiser into an event that not only supports vital programs and services to patients and their families at Agape House, but also to those who are at home and receiving hospice care from their primary caregivers. To date, the Derby has raised over $2 million, which is used predominantly for hospice care, training programs and services, as well as infrastructure improvements. Let's not forget, as Dr. Bolton mentioned, that uh, we'll be needing to raise some major capital for new infrastructure for new hospice. This is all for the comfort and dignity of those who are actively leaving us. Friends of Hospice is a charity that is committed to its mandate that we should end our days with dignity and comfort and that we only have one chance to get it right. This year's Derby, according to all the reports, is going to be the best of all derbies. It will incorporate a, a county fair atmosphere. The focus will be on family, with activities for everyone. There will be kiddie rides, games, dance competitions for the young and the mature with lots of prizes to be won. There will also be duck races and live entertainment. Belco Bird is getting ready for the races, has been practicing a few dance routines. <laughs> and and uh, I've been advised that there's a, a special surprise planned which I don't know about, I, don't have, I have no idea, but I encourage you to come and find out at the same time that I do. Uh, and I can also confirm that the Gumbays will be present. It is extremely important to the success of the Robert Duck Derby fundraising efforts uh, that we purchase corporate ducks. I would like to thank the business community for its continued support for the Robert Duck Derby through the purchase of corporate ducks. Your financial support is vital, therefore we are asking you once again to give generously. I don't have to read that. We are aiming for the most corporate ducks ever in the water this year for the Corporate Duck Dash. We would like to thank the Corporation of Hamilton, the Corporation of St. George's, the Bermuda Tourism Authority for their support. Special thanks to the businesses that have provided prizes this year. Thank you to the Lindos group of companies for our commercial, which I can't wait to see. And thank you to our musicians uh, who have agreed to be part of our historical launch here today. Finally, thank you to the public for your participation and your support. And we encourage you to purchase tickets and attend, attend the Derby and make it a fun and successful event. We'll see you on Sunday, June 5th at noon in Town Square and on Ordnance Island. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Williams. We are very grateful at, at Friends of Hospice for Belco's support for our 20th annual Rubber Duck Derby. As, as others have said, it is our biggest fundraiser, and without the support from the community at large, we would not be able to meet the needs of the patients and the families that we support. Whilst cancer diagnosis remains the mainstay of patient admissions at Agape, there is a diverse mix of non-cancer, terminally ill patients. Some are there for a brief stay to address symptom management. Many, however, of those who come through the doors are facing end of life, 
And for them, we do have only one chance to get it right. One chance to give them physical, emotional, and spiritual support that they and their families and friends need to ensure that they truly live until they die. We work, Friends of, Co of Hospice work in concert with Agape House staff to enhance the quality of life for each hospice patient through the offering of various free services such as personalized meals, complimentary therapy, bereavement counseling, art therapy. Each of these services brings a sense of comfort to the families and friends of those patients. And we are very grateful for our professional staff and our cadre of volunteers, some of whom are here today, who support us in our work. Day Hospice is now in its fifth year and it's, it's thriving. And earlier this year, we introduced a new program for adult day caregivers. Caregivers give so much of themselves without looking for compensation or thanks. Some of them work a full-time job and then come home and still look after their loved ones. This one day away from the caregiving task provides them for an op opportunity to de-stress, to be pampered, and to share their journey with others. And all of this is possible because of the generosity of our community of supporters for the Rubber Duck Derby. At Friends of Hospice, we are truly committed to the belief that everyone has the right to pass their final days with dignity, peace, personalized care, and comfort. And we express our sincere thanks to everyone in the community who has supported us in this event over the last 19 years. We work hard to promote the services and we continue to review the programs in order to improve service delivery. We hope you, the community, will continue to show support by purchasing a rubber duck, rubber duck raffle ticket, that's a mouthful, um, and come down to St. George's. Dr. Fulton has already thrown the challenge out. Um, raffle tickets will be available at various places and, and you can certainly check our Facebook for those times and venues. Friends of Hospice are dedicated to making sure that we do not miss out on that one chance, and we ask all of you to help us get it right, and we thank you very much for your continued support. That actually now concludes our presentations and speeches. Um, we do have some wonderful pastries, compliments of sweet sack, um, available for everybody. So if you'd like to help yourselves, we would certainly encourage you to do that. And hopefully we'll see you at our ticket tables between now and June 5th, and then on June 5th down in St. George's. Thank you very much. <laughs>